In today's Best Funny Shorts of the Week, we start with a school reunion. This woman and her husband were at her 40-year school reunion. What an achievement to be there. They were seated on a table with some of her old school friends. But at the end of the table, there sat a single man sipping away at his whiskey. After some time, her husband asked her, Honey, do you know that guy at the end of the table? I know him well. We were dating in our last year of school, but I broke up with him just before school ended. Now, is the poor guy still married? Apparently not. He started drinking as soon as we left school, and he has been drinking ever since. The husband looked at the man and spoke. Unbelievable to think that 40 years after leaving school, that man is still celebrating. In the next joke, we bring you one of our favorites, Little Johnny. This teacher asks the class, What do we get from chickens? Oh, wonderful. Look at all the hands. Yes, Mary. Teacher, we get eggs and we get meat. Wow, that's correct, Mary. Well done. Now tell me, class, what do we get from sheep? Lots of hand, I see. Mmm, yes, Billy. Teacher, from sheep we get wool, we get chops, Oh, and then we get that nice leg of lamb, which mommy does in the oven. Well done, Billy. Now tell me, class, what do we get from a pig? Yes, Sarah. Teacher, we get bacon and spare ribs. Well done, Sarah. My, but this class is very sharp today. Now can anyone tell me what we get from a cow? Now little Johnny just cannot contain himself anymore. He jumps up and down. Okay, Johnny, I haven't forgotten about you. So what do we get from a cow? From a cow teacher, we get homework. <laughs> the following joke is about a guy who have a problem with his legs. So this guy walks into the doctor's office. Doctor, I need your help. I have a serious problem with my legs. So is it painful? Is your feet burning? Give me a bit more information. No, doctor. It's much more serious. You need to listen with that thing around your neck to my knee. The doctor listens with the stethoscope to the guy's knees and hear the knee saying, I need 20 bucks. I need 20 buck. Now listen to my calves, doctor. It gets worse. The doctor then listened to the guy's calves. The calves keep saying, I need 10 bucks. I need 10 bucks. He then listened to the feet and the feet said, I need five bucks. I need five bucks. He then said, I have never heard this problem before but I think I know what is wrong. Is it serious, doctor? Well, I think your leg is broke in three places. In the next joke, we bring you an old farmer who have never been in a big city. This old farmer have never been to a big city. As his farm was in a very rural area, they have also never been fortunate to watch television. One day, they were invited to a wedding in the big city and decided to go. They were booked into a modern hotel when they reached the city, the woman all went shopping. As the farmer were very scared of the city, he and his son were waiting in the foyer of their hotel for the woman to return. There was a lift in the foyer, and the farmer had never seen one of these before. As it happens, an old lady went into the lift, and the doors closed. The farmer was very intrigued by this contraption. A short bit later, the lift's doors open again, and out walked this beautiful young woman. The farmer was shocked by this technology. He looked at his son and said, My son, run as quick as you can. Go and fetch your mother. Immediately. <laughs> the following joke is about a fisherman and some really bad weather. One Saturday morning, this guy got up early and quietly got dressed. He made himself some lunch, grabbed the dog, and slipped quietly to the garage. He hooked up the boat to the truck and proceeded to back out into a torrential downpour. It was raining heavily and the wind was howling. So he pulled back into the garage, turned on the radio, and discovered that the weather would be bad for the whole day. So he decided to stay home and spend some time with his lovely wife. He went back into the house, quietly got undressed, and slipped back into bed behind his wife. He cuddled up to her with anticipation and whispered, the weather out there is terrible. His loving wife of 10 years replied, Can you believe my stupid husband is out fishing in this weather? 
In the upcoming joke, this couple have some marriage problems. This wife was visiting a friend while her husband was at home. You know, Jen, Mike and I have not been happily married. We have been battling for years. That's unfortunate. Are you guys trying to figure things out? Well, Mike has made a dartboard for his garage with my face on it. Every evening, he will go and play darts in the garage. Wow, is it that bad? Well, Mike is not very much of a darts player, so he has never been able to hit the dartboard. Perhaps that's a good thing. Just give him a call and see what he's doing. At this exact time, Mike was practicing darts, but still missing the dartboard with the picture of his wife on it. When his phone rang. Yes, dear. What am I doing? You know what I am doing. I am missing you. <laughs> now, we will bring you a funny joke about a parrot. One day a man went to an auction. While there, he saw this beautiful parrot and decided to place a bid on the parrot. He really wanted this parrot, so he got caught up in the bidding process. He kept on bidding, but kept getting outbid. So he bid higher and higher and higher. Finally, after he bid way more than he initially intended to pay for the bird, he won the bid. The parrot was his at last. With a big smile on his face and feeling very proud of himself, he went to pay. As he was paying for the parrot, he said to the auctioneer, I sure hope this parrot can talk. I would hate to have paid this much for the parrot, only to find out he can't talk. Don't worry, said the auctioneer to the man with a smile on his face. The parrot can talk. Who do you think kept bidding against you? <laughs> Our second last joke is about a schoolboy with a problem. A father standing in his son's bedroom was astonished to see the bed was made up. Then he saw an envelope on the bed. It was addressed to him. With a worried look on his face, he opened the envelope and read the letter. Dear Dad, it's with great regret that I'm writing to you. I had to escape with my new girlfriend because I wanted to avoid a scene with you and mom. Dad, she's pregnant. She owns a trailer in the woods. We will raise our kids there. We will grow marijuana and sell it. Dad, I'm 15 and know how to take care of myself. I will be back to visit so you can get to see your grandchildren. Love your son. P.S. Dad, I'm at Mike's house. None of the above is true. Just to remind you, there are worse things in life than the school report that's on the kitchen table. Please call when it is safe to come home. <laughs> Our last joke of the day is about an old man and a problem with forgetfulness. This boy was having a chat with his grandfather when he asked, Hey, Gran, why do old people forget things so easily? Well, it's because our brains are so full of information. Scientists don't believe the brain deteriorates. It just gets too full of information. I don't understand that. Will my brain also one day get too full of information? Oh yes, it's like a hard drive of a computer. When it's too full, the information call-up process becomes slow. That doesn't mean the information is not there. It's just too full of information. Okay, I get it. But why when you have called up the information, does it then get lost again? Like what exactly? You will go to the bedroom to get something. So the call-up process has been completed. But when you get there, you can't remember what you are looking for. Oh no, that's got nothing to do with the brain. It's just nature's way to ensure that old people still get a bit of exercise. <laughs>